So what are we going to learn about today? No. No. Ah, there it is. That's the elbow. And that's Tommy. The Tommy John ligament is a ligament in the elbow. It often gets injured in overhead athletes, like baseball pitchers. And when it gets torn, it frequently needs surgery. It takes about 50% of the stress that your arm sees as it pitches. How much is that? Well, measured in torque, 32 Newton meters. How much is that? That's 32 Newton meters of torque on your Tommy John ligament every single pitch. All that torque is generated by your arm rotating at 7,500 degrees per second. That's 20 full rotations per second. And that's the average for high school pitchers. I'm not gonna talk about the surgeries that help repair the torn Tommy John ligament. If you're interested in that, leave a comment below and I can address that in a future video. If you're a physician watching, the next few slides will have references regarding those surgeries. What I'm more interested in is finding ways to track how the ligament changes over time and see if there are ways that we can prevent these injuries while also improving performance. One of those tools for measuring change can be the ultrasound machine. Let's go check it out. This is a picture of my right elbow under the ultrasound machine. This ridge is the lower part of my upper arm bone. Most people call this the funny bone area. And this area is the very beginning of the bones in your forearm. This white strip, that's the important part of the Tommy John ligament that we're talking about today. You may be able to see these blue dots showing where I'm measuring my Tommy John ligament. In professional baseball pitchers, we see that this area in their throwing arm can be up to 1.5 millimeters thicker than their non-throwing arm. For some people, that's as much as 50% thicker. In high school baseball players, we don't see this change. Unfortunately, in different studies, people measure at different places. This makes it difficult to be consistent. So we need to identify the best way to measure and then use that because tracking change over time may be helpful in identifying who's at greater risk for getting a tear through this important ligament. Besides measuring the ligament directly, you can also look upstream at the shoulder. Let me show you what I mean. A lot of doctors look at glenohumeral internal rotation deficits to predict risk of injury at the elbow because of loss of range of motion at the shoulder. Essentially, not being able to turn your dominant shoulder in as much as your non-dominant shoulder. But what is probably more important is total range of motion so that if an individual has as little as five degrees difference of total motion, they may have a higher risk of injury at the elbow. That's something we can measure easily in the office. tool that I'm most interested in is called the M-Throw. It's a wearable device. Here, let me show you. So I figured it'd just be easier to show you on my computer the tool that I'm talking about. If you go to mthrow.com, and I'll make sure there's a link down in the description below, you can find this really innovative tool. Let's go take a look on their website.
besides being a really cool and meaningful tool, uh, they also have great people there. I just got an email from uh, Brittany Dowling, the director of research, um, and we're going to be connecting next week after Thanksgiving uh, so that we can discuss what it is that they measure on the back end to see if I can do a more precise job of taking information I measure in the office and having patients go home being able to measure the same things. That could be a game changer for the way we rehab, but also the way we return to sports. That's where I see a lot of extra meaning in this tool, so I'm very excited. So if you're a baseball pitcher, you now realize there's more to the Tommy John ligament than it just getting torn and needing surgery. In fact, there are probably three meaningful ways to track the Tommy John ligament over time. We can use ultrasound to track changes over time. We can look at total range of motion in the shoulder to help identify risk for injury to the Tommy John ligament. And then there are these wearable devices that not only uh, have the potential of tracking uh, the stress through the Tommy John ligament, but may be able to give you feedback so you can adjust your pitching technique, helping you be an even better pitcher. And I think there's real power in that. If you found that this video was helpful, please subscribe to the channel and take a look at some of the other videos we have posted. It'll give you a chance to get to know more about me and my mission of providing medical care that improves athletic performance. All right, talk with y'all later.